Hey everyone, Melissa Wick here. This is a full creative one hour yoga practice. There will be some lateral, some side bending, some heart opening. It's a gentle practice, but yet still strengthening and still potent. So we will be welcoming ourselves home in this class together. So get into something comfortable and let's get started. For this class, two blocks are good to have. They're not necessary but I always like to have them just in case. So I'll bring them to the top of my mat and I'll start today on our back. So you're gonna lay yourself down and have your knees bent, have the feet wide and knees fall in to touch. Constructive rests, your arms could be by the side or hands on the belly. You can gently shimmy in the shoulders just create a little bit more opening, wiggle the hips, lift and lower. Close the eyes here. Give yourself this moment to settle in to your body, onto your mat. And we'll take two deep collective breaths together to fully arrive. So inhale in through your nose. Exhale it out through the mouth. One more like this, fully in. And let it go. Good. Gently close the lips. And let yourself land here. Just take this moment to check in with how your body is feeling. how your energy is and your emotional tone. So this is without judgment. Simply notice, a little check-in. And notice how you're breathing. Can we set the intention to make the breath as smooth and as even as possible. In and out through the nostrils. Just a few more conscious breaths in and out through the nose. Good, and we'll start to right away here, sync our breath with our body movement. So we'll separate the knees and bring the feet hip width distance apart and have your heels close to your glutes here. Your palms will face down onto the mat. We'll come right into our hip bridge with the arms lifted. So we'll press the feet down. You're gonna draw the pubic bone in towards you, gently engage the glutes. Inhale, you'll lift your hips up to a bridge and your arms will lift up at the same time all the way back behind you. Backs of the hands touch the ground behind. As you exhale, you lower the hips, lower the arms, maybe moving a little slower than you're used to. Inhale, lift the hips, smooth breath in. Arms lift. And exhale, hips lower, arms lower. Keep going like this. Inhale, lift. Make sure the weight is even on both sides of the legs. Both, sometimes one hamstring likes to dominate over the other. Exhale, hips lower, hands lower. Good. Inhale, lift so the breath will rise all the way into the heart space opening and awakening the spine. Exhale, hips lower, hands lower. Good, smooth breath in, inhale, lift. This time we'll keep the hips lifted. You're just gonna lower the arms, exhale, arms lower. Stay in your bridge here, continue to breathe. Your hands could stay palms down or you can interlace the hands behind you and draw the forearms toward the ground. Soften 
the energy behind your eyes, gentle engagement of the glutes to support your low back. Good, so the hamstrings are softly engaged, trying to tap into our inner stability here. If you start to feel a little discomfort, can you stay present to it and know that it is temporary? Just make the breath a little louder than the thoughts keeping the intention of smooth inhales and exhales. Good. Release the hands and the shoulders if they're interlaced. On the exhale, we slowly roll down and let your hips lower to the ground. Relax the glutes. Give yourself a moment to feel here. We're going to move into some core work just to create some heat and to ignite the core so we're aware of it throughout the practice. So you're gonna bring your shins parallel into tabletop, zip the legs together, draw the belly button toward the back of the spine here so we're not creating a C shape. You wanna keep that containment in the core. Hands interlaced behind the back of the head. Rest the back of your head in the palms. Your elbows stay wide the whole time so they're in your peripherals. So we're gonna start to lift and lower here. We're gonna move slow. So let's take a breath in to prepare here. Draw the belly in, pubic bone toward you. On the exhale, we lift the chest. So we're not pulling from the neck, but we're lifting from the chest and shoulders. And then inhale back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Keep going like this. So the slower we move, the more muscle we're gonna build because we're not using momentum. So you might start to feel it a little sooner than you normally would because all of our attention is here on the core, lifting from the shoulders. There's two more like this. Now we're gonna add on to this. So you're gonna lift, and at the same time, your right leg's gonna extend and hover. You don't need to go super low, and then lift the leg, lower the head. Lift the chest, left leg hovers, and come back to center. So opposite sides, lifting and lowering here. If it's too much with the legs, you can always just go back to the first option. So keep drawing the belly button in toward the back of the spine. Pubic bone is zipping in toward the chin. Good, one breath per movement. Starting to feel the core fire up. I'm with you, I feel it. Good, just one more full round. Good, and then release. Extend the legs out nice and long. Reach the arms up overhead. Take a big breath in. And exhale through the mouth. Good. We'll take the knees in, hands around the shins or behind the backs of the knees. Give yourself a couple rocks up and down. And then cross your ankles, take your hands forward. And we'll meet here on our hands and knees. And the wrists are underneath the shoulders. We'll tuck the toes under here and we'll move into a more of a dynamic opening here in the spine. So on the inhale, we're going to release the belly, soften the shoulders, come into your cow. On the exhale, the toes are tucked under, You're just pressing up and back, downward facing. Your hips are leading up and back. Inhale, knees come down, continue the inhale, tilt the pelvis, chest opens, full breath in, smooth exhale, take it back downward facing. Twice more like this. Inhale, ride the wave of your breath. Come forward. Really establishing that connection with the breath. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, downward facing. 
gently lift the heels take the knees down onto the mat you're on all fours try not to collapse in the shoulders so a gentle pushing of the floor again drawing the belly in the spine stays stable here hips stable we're going to isolate the movement in the glute and the exterior of the thigh here so on the inhale the knee will stay bent and just come out to the side lifting and lowering lifting and lowering keep going like this inhale you lift exhale lower so if you keep doing this here you'll notice sometimes the one arm likes to bend we like to compensate you don't need to lift the legs super high next time that your legs lifted extend it out to the side tap down and lift it's okay if it doesn't go super high it's okay if it doesn't even lift even if you just think about it the longer your legs the more challenging the more weight there is so just tap and lower lift and lower next time you're down you're going to plant that foot down toes face forward heel behind the toes come to stand on the knee here if you need to pad up your knee you can fold up the mat or you can bring a blanket so you're in gate pose your arms are going to extend out long and on an inhalation we're going to arc toward the extended legs so the left arm is going to arc up and over toward that leg that's the inhalation and then exhale, we come back to where we started. So to stay safe, your tailbone's lengthening down. So you find that zipping up here in the front body. Inhale, arch up and over, smooth breath in. So you're opening the side body. Exhale, back to center. So as if when you're inhaling, you're sipping in through a straw. So it's expansive. Exhale, back to center. Inhale. exhale good this time we're going to hold here up and over two options option one left hand comes behind the back of the head and you're puffing and opening up the chest and you're breathing into the left side option two right arm reaches up and the left hand grabs a hold of the outside of the right tricep leaning your head back and again opening up and puffing the chest here strong legs and smooth breath bringing more light into the side body into the chest good and then we're going to gently release come back to center release the hands back down into table your right leg is going to extend back behind you keep drawing the belly in come slightly forward you're going to bend at the elbows, so like mini chaturanga. Push the floor away from you. Inhale. Exhale, knee towards your nose. Round curl in. Inhale, right leg extends back. This time on the exhale, step your right foot to the outside of the right palm. So you're in a wide-legged lizard here. Now we're just going to start to explore and move in any which way here. It could be side to side, circles. There's no right or wrong. You're just exploring how this feels in the hip flexors, moving through any sticky areas. So often in yoga, we're doing a lot of back and forth linear movements. So here's the opportunity to explore a different way, move how the body wants to move. Good, so then coming back to center, take an inhale, open the chest. As you exhale, extend your right leg, fold here, toes toward the face twice more. Inhale, bend the knee, open the chest. Exhale, half split here. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, half split. And we'll just hold here for a couple cycles of breath. Come onto your fingertips. You can walk the hands closer if you need more support here, if your hamstrings are feeling tight. Okay, let's re-bend the right knee. Take that left hand down. Power up your back leg, tuck your left toes under, and open up for a twist. Your right arm's gonna open up, but this time make it super indulgent. Don't worry about alignment, just open up, and you can even bend that right elbow. Chest opens toward the sky, toward the side. Nice, opening up in the chest and shoulders. And then right arm comes to the inside, skandasana to the left. So your left heel turns in, your both toes are out, 
bend your left knee so your right leg extends out long. So your knees tracking in line with the toes here. Good, and then we'll just switch over to the right side. Walk your hands over to the right, right knee bends, left leg extends. Good, back over to the left, left knee bends, right leg extends. Give yourself a cycle of breath here. And then we'll walk our hands back to reframe the right foot. Let's prepare here to a high lunge. So your right heel's drawing back, the left toe's coming forward, this scissoring action. It'll feel your inner thighs start to work and magnetize. You gotta walk your back foot in a little bit, that's all right. When you feel like you're stable, high lunge, reaching the arms up. We're gonna dip on the exhale. Left knee's gonna dip toward the ground. Your right hip pulls back as you dip down. Inhale, back up, twice more. Exhale, dip down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dip. Inhale, lift. All right, exhale. Take your hands down. Step back, downward facing. Take a breath in. Full breath out. Lifting the heels, lower the knees back down. We're on the other side here. So again, notice if you're hanging out in the shoulders, engage. So gentle pushing away, broaden in the upper back, belly draws in, spine super stable, hips stable. Just gonna let, lift the left knee, lifting and lower, just moving from the glute here. So it's okay if you only lift just a little bit, just enough so you can feel the activation, lifting and lowering. So both arms are aiming to be lengthened. Check in again, have you ended up sinking into the shoulders, back of the neck nice and long. Okay, this time the next, next time your legs out, extend the leg, tap, lift and lower. I'm really feeling this one, I'm really sore today. Tap, lift, tap, lift, and then we'll release, heels behind the toes, come to stand on the knees. Pad the knees, protect yourself if you need to. Again, tailbone's lengthening down, so we're not feeling like that banana back. Strong legs, arms out to the side. So we're gonna lift and inhale, the right arm lifts up and over toward the left leg. Same leg and arm here. I'm sorry, I should say opposite arm to leg. And then inhale back up to stand. So again, smooth breath in, inhale, arch toward the extended leg. Chest stays open, exhale, back to center. Inhale, good, enliven the right side body. Exhale, center. Inhale, lift and arch, reach to the fingers. Exhale, center, and this time we're gonna hold. So inhale, up and over, option one. Right hand behind the back of the head, legs strong, and you're spiraling the heart open, puff it open. Option two, left arm reaches up. Grab a hold with that right hand, the outside of the left tricep. Lean the head back, and again, open up the chest here. You don't wanna feel any sharp pain or major discomfort. You want to support yourself by engaging the glutes, lengthening the tail down. Good, and then with care, come back to center, releasing the hands back down under the shoulders. Left leg takes you back and lift, belly draws in. Lean slightly forward, hug the elbows in, bend the elbows. Inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, knee toward your nose, round. Inhale, left leg extends back. Exhale, step the left foot through to the outside of the left hand. You're in this lizard shape again, so explore. Maybe side to side, circular motion, no right or wrong. Maybe you go to a spot where you normally wouldn't go and it feels weird, a little uncomfortable. Can you breathe into it? OK, 
Come back to center here. Inhale, we open the chest, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hips back, lengthen the left leg, toes toward the face. Twice more. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Stay here for a few cycles of breath. You can walk the hands in if you need more support. Breathe into the hamstring. Re-bend the left knee. You're going to walk the hands back forward. Tuck your right toes under. Power up the back leg. Right hand stays down. Left arm opens up. Twist. Indulge. Don't worry about the rules here. Alignment. Just opening up the chest. You can bend the elbow any amount. Deep rinse. And then exhale back to center. Skandasana to the back of your mat. Walk your hands back. Your heels are in. Toes out. Right knee bends. Left leg extends. Then we'll walk to the other side. Left knee bends, right leg extends. Back to the back, right knee bends, left leg extends. We'll stay here for a couple cycles of breath. And then we'll walk the hands back, frame the left foot all 10 toes forward. We're gonna prepare for high lunge. So the left heel draws back, so left hip back, right toes forward. Magnetize the inner thighs, that'll help you with stability. High lunge, walk the back foot in if you need to. We're gonna dip, exhale, right knee dips down. Your left hip pulls back, ground down through your left heel. Inhale, high lunge, two more times. Exhale, dip down, left hip pulls back. Inhale, lift. Lower down, tailbone's lengthening down. So your hip bones are coming forward. Back to high lunge, exhale. Frame your left foot, step back, downward facing. Take a breath in here and exhale it out. Enjoy a few breaths here in your downward facing. Sit bones reaching up and back. Externally rotate your upper arms, broaden the upper back, release any excess tension in the head. You can always bend the knees a lot here if you'd like to find more length in the spine. Re-extend the legs, drawing the belly in. Good. Now from here, we're going to lift the heels, come forward to a high plank. You can always take the knees down here. We're going to lower onto the belly. Bend your elbows back, elbows in. And you push through the palms, you lower all the way down. Tops the feet down, pubic bone down, a scooping in of the belly. Roll the shoulders onto the back. Try not to use your hands for this one here, if you can help it. You're gonna inhale about halfway here. Inhale the full breath in, halfway lift. You're gonna stay here lifted and just exhale. Now here on the inhale, press into your palms gently, find a fuller cobra, inhale. And exhale, lower all the way down, all the air out. We'll do that sequence two more times. So without using the hands, gently place them down. Inhale about halfway. Stay here and exhale. Keep the glutes engaged. Inhale, cobra. Shoulders down, heart forward and up. Exhale, full breath out, lower down. Last time like this. Don't use the hands. Inhale about halfway. Draw the shoulders down the back. Exhale as you stay here. Inhale, gently push down through the palms, lift. And exhale, all the air out, lower down. Tuck your toes under. On an inhalation, you're going to push through the palms, your belly lifts, tabletop or high plank. And exhale, downward facing. Let's bend the knees and look between the hands. Walk or step, step to the top of your mat and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So fingertips to shins or quads, open the chest. Your sit bones are reaching back, reach to the crown of the head. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're gonna rise all the way up. Palms touch, hands to heart center, exhale. Take a cycle of breath here. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Maybe look up to your hands. 
Exhale, either swan dive or come through center all the way down here. Inhale, halfway lift, open the chest. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank. On an exhalation, if you're ready, chaturanga to upward facing. Elbows hug in, bend the elbows, you come halfway down. Then point your toes, engage the glutes, legs, knees lifted. Open the chest, glutes are working. And then exhale, tuck the toes under, downward facing. Your flow could always be belly to cobra. It could also just be cat-cow. Anything that's symmetrical, you can also skip a flow and just come right back to downward facing dog. Okay, let's do one more sun salutation. Let's bend the knees, look between the hands, and then walk or step to the top of your mat and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, open the chest, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's continue, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back. Continue the exhale to your flow. Inhale is your cobra or upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let yourself settle here and adjust. You're gonna walk your hands back toward the feet, all the way back, bend your knees. We're gonna slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. When you get to the top, give your shoulders a roll up and back. So the next sequence here, I wanted to just demonstrate quickly so that we're not missing the benefits of it. Feet are hip width distance apart, knees bent. The arms are gonna reach up, biceps by the ears. You can yeah, keep as much bend in the knees as you need. So the idea is to hinge the hips back and you're coming forward to a halfway lift here, biceps stay by the ears. So the tendency here is to kind of round and we don't really realize it, but you want to find more length. So you're drawing the sit bone back and draw the belly in here. So your back body is working strong to keep the central column of the spine nice and open. So breath can travel here, the shishumna nadi. So if this is too much, you can always bend the elbows here. And so the idea is to really engage the hamstrings and the glutes, so they're gonna be firing and working to support you, okay? So modify as you need, really try to keep that length in the spine here first and foremost. That's what it's all about. So arms lift up, biceps by the ears, or you cactus the elbows. Bend the knees if you need to, take a breath in, as you exhale, smooth exhale, come down about halfway, hamstrings and glutes working, draw the navel in, long spine, tuck the chin in so you're not cranking the neck. Inhale, your legs will support you, come back to stand. So this is challenging, should be a little challenging. Exhale, come down about halfway, bend the elbows if you need to. Inhale, come back up to stand. You're gonna do this two more times. Exhale, come down about halfway from the outer ankles, so the outer thighs are engaged. Inhale, back up. Good. Exhale, halfway down. Good. Inhale, lift back up to stand, and release. Exhale, your hands come down by your side, palms flipped forward. Close your eyes. Give yourself a moment to feel and receive. Good. So here the feet stay hip width distance apart, so they're under your hip bones. We're gonna come into a dynamic chair sequence. You're gonna bend the knees. So you're gonna sit back in Utkatasana in your imaginary chair, your arms lift. So the knees are gonna stay bent through the entire sequence here. You're gonna take a breath in. So your glutes are engaged. You're gonna exhale, chest toward the thighs, tuck the chin in, fingertips toward the mat. Knees stay bent, smooth breath in to your chair pose. Exhale, chest to the thighs, chin in. Inhale, chair pose. Nice broadening in the back to support an open heart. Exhale, chest to thighs, chin in. Last time, inhale, chair pose. And exhale, 
chest to thighs and extend the legs here any amount. Good, you can keep a micro bend in the knees here if that feels better for you. Release the neck. From here, we're just gonna start to walk the hands back out to downward facing. You can take a flow here if you'd like to cleanse and rinse that out, even a cat cow, or you can stay in downward dog, yogi's choice. I'm gonna go for a cat cow. Okay, so we'll meet in downward facing. Recalibrate the breath. Okay, so from here, we're gonna sweep the right leg up to a three-legged dog. So you're lifting from the inner right thigh. You're gonna exhale and step your right foot through to warrior one. So your left heel comes down, left toes bent out. So you're on railroad tracks, so your feet are separated. They're on different paths, different lanes. Your right knee's bent left outer edge of the foot grounded down so the back thigh is strong and you're aiming to have the hips toward the front but not torquing on the knee so you find an external rotation in that left thigh arms will reach up warrior one let's come into a heart kriya just to cleanse the heart space so on the breath in here we prepare on an exhale the arms release down by the sides continue the exhale hands come into heart center so a few more times like this. Steady your gaze, this is for you. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Good. And then we'll take the hands behind us, interlace them, extending the elbows, opening the chest. Stay here for a couple cycles of breath. Proud, open heart. Now we're gonna move into some balance. So you wanna be steady here. So our chest is gonna come forward. You're gonna pivot onto the ball of the left foot, all 10 toes facing forward. We're gonna transition into warrior three. So find, fix your gaze on a point on the floor here. Weight comes into the right foot. You're gonna lift the left leg, hips closed. You can keep the right knee bent the whole time if you'd like, but really engage the left leg. Draw the navel in, try not to crank the neck. So again, back of the neck long. Good, with so much care, we're gonna to come to stand, release the hands, and assist that left foot into tree pose. So tree could just have the toes on the ground here, or you can lift Bring the foot to the inside of the right inner thigh, above or below the knee, just not on it. Now here, your hands can come into prayer, or you can grow your tree. If you wanna work with more laterals, your left hand, back of the hand can come onto the inside of that left inner thigh, just gently here, as the thigh presses into your hand, you and start to reach that right arm up and over toward the left leg here, breathing into the side body. So you're grounding down through the right foot, and at the same time, you're reaching up through the crown of the head. Back to center, bring your hands into prayer. Bending your right knee, take that foot off. Cross seated figure four here. So sit back in your imaginary chair, flex your left foot to so protect the knee. Hug the right shin bone back, draw the navel in, sit back in your chair. If you feel your right leg screaming at you, I'm with you. Just know that you are not your leg. It's a temporary feeling. You are the one that's observing everything that's happening. So we wanna find that inner place of ease and calm. And then come back up to stand. Release the foot down. Give the leg a shake if you need to here. Come to stand into, into Tadasana. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we'll fold down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. 
exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank, chaturanga to upward facing or belly to cobra. Heels of the hands toward you, sternum forward and up. Exhale, downward facing. You have five breaths here. If you want to stay in down dog, stay. You can take child's pose. If you'd like another flow, take another flow. Listen to what would serve you best here. So if you need child's pose, take it. Good. If you're in child's pose, we'll come back to downward facing. And then when you're ready, the left leg is going to sweep up on an inhale. Lift through the inner left thigh. Exhale. Step the left foot through between the hands. Warrior one. Right heel comes down. Right toes fan out. You're on railroad tracks. Left knee bends. Okay. So now the back right thigh is externally rotating externally so the heel and outer edge is grounding down left knee in line with second and second and third toe reaching the arms up let's move into our heart kriya inhale exhale hands swim through steadying your gaze right into heart center inhale lift it's like a moving meditation exhale Twice more. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Good. And then take the hands behind you, interlace them, extending the elbows, open the chest. Proud, open heart here. Now we'll come into warrior three. So our chest and torso will start to come forward, pivot onto the ball of the right foot, all 10 toes forward. Steady your gaze. Weight comes into the left foot. When you're ready, the right leg lifts any amount. Engage the right leg so if you're pressing a button on the back of the wall with your right heel, draw the navel in, fire up the left hamstring. Slight tuck in of the chin. With care, we're gonna to start to transition. Try not to let the right foot touch the ground, if you can. Releasing the hands, coming into tree pose. So right foot can come into the inside of the left thigh, below or above the knee. Hands into prayer. Maybe hands lift. If you're going for the lateral, back of the right hand and the inside of the right thigh. Left arm arches up and over toward the right knee. Open heart. Good. A little more balance here. Come back to center, hands into prayer. You're going to bend your left knee, take your right foot off. Seated figure four chair. So your right ankle crosses the left thigh. Sit back in space, hug the left shin bone back. Draw the navel in. Get into that glute. Steady breath. Good. Feel the burn. So good. Come back to stand. Release it down. Give your leg a shake. Good. This is going to be the last flow here. So really move like honey. Inhale, we sweep the arms up. Exhale, we fold. Lead with the chest, open spine. Inhale, halfway lift, open the chest. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, take a flow. Either to your belly or chaturanga. Inhale, is your back bend. Exhale, downward facing.
Good, and we'll come forward to high plank. You can take the knees down if you need. We're just gonna lower all the way onto the belly. Hands down by your side. Just lift your right leg, lower it down. Lift your left leg, lower it down. Just to make sure our back is nice and lengthened. So we're gonna come into bow pose. If that's not for you today, you can simply take locust. So locust would just be lifting the arms and the legs, chest opens, reaching through the fingers, tuck the chin in. If you're coming into bow, you're gonna bend both knees, grab a hold of the outside of the feet, the ankles, wherever is more comfortable for you. So the pubic bone is drawing down and in towards the mat, gentle lift of the belly. Start to kick the, hand, the feet into the hands. Your shoulders will slide down the back, opening the chest. Again, not cranking the neck. Head is in line with the spine. You don't need to go super high. You wanna still be able to fully breathe in and fully breathe out. If your knees are winging out to the side, you need to draw them back in line with the hip bones. Good, deeply cleansing here. And then we'll release with care. Any ear down onto the mat, let your legs extend. We're going to bring our hands to the upper chest. We're gonna push up and back and just come to a child's pose. Either arms extended or you can have the hands by the side. Beautiful. Come to lift the torso up and bring the sit bones down onto the mat. You're going to swing the legs forward. Scoot yourself up a bit here. Before we lay down, we're going to extend the left leg out long and bend the right knee so the right foot is planted down. So option one here, your right hand will come behind you as your kickstand as a support, tall spine. Your left hand can hug your right shin in and you can twist from the core over excuse me, over to the right, collarbones open. Option two, you can take your left hand, thumb down, flex your right foot, grab a hold of the outside edge of your right foot, and start to kick that foot, extend. So make sure the heel is in line with the hip so it's not going off to the side. Your right hand can stay down for support, or maybe you lift. If you are going this route, make sure you're not collapsing in the spine, the whole idea is to keep the spine long. Gently release whichever variation you're in. Take a counter stretch over to the left. And we'll go to the other side. So right leg extends, left knee bends. Left hand behind you for support. Your right hand could hold on to the left leg and gently twist over to the left. Good, this is just as potent. So if you're going to option two, flex your left foot, right hand down, thumb down, grab a hold of the outside edge of your left foot and start to kick. Make sure heels in line with the hip bone. Keep the knee bent if you need to. Your back hand is supporting you or you find the full rotation here. Long spine, soften the shoulders, get them out of the ears. Find your breath. We'll gently release, plant the foot back down and counter stretch to the right. Okay, back to center. You're gonna find a block if you have one, take it into your hands. Bend the knees, feet planted down. Make sure there's enough space behind you for when you roll down. And we're gonna have the hands on either side of the block here. We're gonna slowly roll down without letting the feet lift off the ground. You're gonna slowly go one vertebra at a time and your pubic bone is curling in toward the chin. So the hip bones toward your chin I'm going to feel your low back touch the ground first, if you can. Good. All the way. 
down. Now, if you want to go for a more restorative inversion and you don't have a block, just lift your legs up towards the sky, just like this. If you want to go into shoulder stand, feel free to go to sh shoulder stand. Just be safe. I'm going to guide you through the restorative waterfall. So if you have a block, lift your hips up, slide the block underneath your sacrum, your tailbone, and rest here. We'll take the legs up towards the sky. So this is done with or without the block. We have about 10 or 11 breaths here. So if the shoulder stand, if you're in that and it's really stimulating, I would suggest to maybe come into this inversion instead because we're really changing gears in the practice. We want to turn on the parasympathetic nervous system. The rest and digest. Okay, you're going to start to re-bend the knees, plant the feet down onto the mat. If you're on a block and you want to stay in a restorative bridge, you can stay right here or turn the block a little higher onto the next setting. If you want a more active bridge here, slide the block out. Feet are hip width distance apart. You can have the hands on the ground, palms down, or you can interlace, just like we did in the beginning of class. Weight even on both sides of the legs. Breathing into the heart space. And you're going to release the shoulders and you slowly roll down. Upper back, mid back, low back. Let your hips relax on the ground. Give yourself a moment to feel. Now we'll extend the left leg out long, arms out into a T, palms up, and then place your right foot on top of your left quad, just above the knee. It might feel weird, but you'll see why in a moment. We'll come into a dynamic twist. So on an inhale, we're just gonna prepare here. On an exhale, we'll start to guide our body over to the left, rolling onto the left side. And then inhale, we come back to center. Exhale over to the left, a gentle rinsing. Inhale to center. And this time we'll stay here for the twist. Over to the left, your left hand could always hold on to your right thigh for support in the low back. You can always release that foot off the leg, wherever is the most comfortable for your twist. You can always support with a block under your right leg. Come back to center on your back. Re-level the hips. Your right leg will extend long. Left knee in, left foot on top of the right quad above the knee. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, twist over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. And this time we'll stay for the twist over to the right. Adjust how you need. With every exhale, the left shoulder softens. 
bringing more light into the spine. Come back to center. Re-level the hips here. We'll come into happy baby before Shavasana. So knees in, arms on the inside, flex the feet. You can either grab the calves, ankles, outer edges, or peace fingers and thumb could wrap around your big toe. Your ankles are stacked over the knees. Relax the shoulders, hips nice and heavy, back of the neck long. You can be still or you can sway. Release your baby. Knees in toward you. Give yourself a hug. Wrap your hands around your shins. Lift your chest, your forehead, your nose toward your knees into a tiny seed. Acknowledging your efforts. Thank you, thank you. And come out into Shavasana. Take up as much space as you'd like. Support yourself as you need. If you're feeling chilly, grab a blanket or a sweater. Maybe give your chest a little lift. So. We have a nice open space here in the chest. Maybe your hips a little wiggle from side to side. <sighs> There's nothing left here for you to do. So allow your whole body to rest. Think heavy, heavy bones. Relax the energy behind your eyes and soften your jaw. Really trust in the support of that ground beneath you. This time is here for you to nourish yourself at a very deep level. So stay with your experience here and allow the energy, your life force, prana, that vibration, that tingling, that's your life force. Allow it to organize itself into balance and harmony and coherence. As you lay here in this ultimate, ultimate state of receivership.
noticing what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multi-dimensional being. Just know you always, always have access to this. You can slowly and gently begin to deepen your breath. Allow your breath to gently stretch you from the inside out. And start to bring movement back to your body, moving your fingers, toes, wrists, ankles, any way you like. You can bring your arms up overhead, nice big stretch. Reach to opposite ends of the room as you deepen the breath, stirring the body into wakefulness. Take your knees in toward you. Give yourself a good hug. Roll to one side, any side you like, and just pause there for a moment. Give yourself a couple breaths into the upper back, tuning into gratitude for our practice, for our beautiful bodies, for all of our resources, and gratitude for our sacred lives. And then when you're ready, you can bring yourself upright to a seat. Any seat that's comfortable. And we'll meet the tall spine, hands just resting on the thighs or the lap, softening the shoulders. Just take these next few moments here just with yourself as you are with your breath, noticing how you feel after practice, if there's any shifts. Take your left hand to your heart and your right hand over your left hand, slight bow in of the chin, noticing how this gesture feels to you. Taking a breath here and welcome yourself home. Radiating outwards what you wish to receive. Thank you so much for your trust and for sharing your practice with me. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Namaste.